Hello, I am Dwayne The Rock Johnson, here to watch the movie The Rock with you guys on Patreon. This movie must be a documentary about me, because The Rock MUSCLES! Yeah, look at those bad boys, look at those muscles. Anyways, just the other arm too, just look at those muscles. Anyways, I'm very excited for The Rock movie because uh, I know I'm pretty famous, and I can't believe they made a movie about me. Wait. This movie's not about me. This movie's about a different rock. This movie's not about the rock, it's about another rock. Are you serious? I'm out. It's not about me. This movie's not about me. What the heck? This movie's not about me. What other rock could there be? Hi everybody, and welcome back to my channel, or I guess Patreons. Hi Patreons, welcome back to my Patreon reaction. Thank you so much if you're watching this, and thank you for the support. Um, sorry about Dwayne The Rock Johnson there. He was, he wanted to watch this movie, he thought this movie was about him, did not realize that this, this movie was about another rock, an imposter rock. Um, he got angry, he left. Unfortunately, he's not going to be in the rest of the reaction, but we can continue on without him because, honestly, he was just like in love with his muscles and he probably didn't even care about the movie to begin with. He just wanted to see himself flexing <laughs> in the movie. Anyways, I'm very excited for this movie. Do not know anything about it, but it won the Patreon poll. So I guess it is a great movie. It won the Patreon poll by a landslide, like a landslide. Um, I can see that Nicolas Cage is in this movie. So that is very exciting. I'm hoping I got the right rock movie, but this was the only movie when I searched up The Rock, this was the only movie that came up. So. I'm willing to bet it's this one. If it is not this one, I'm so sorry I just chose another rock movie. Well, then you get this rock movie. <laughs> you know, The Rock. I have no idea what it's about. Um, oh, who's this guy in it as well? There's Nic Nicolas Cage. And then there's Sean Connery is in it as well. Sean Connery is so good. I love him. So Nicolas Cage, Sean Connery. The Rock, the name The Rock reminds me of Alcatraz for some reason. So... I'm not, I'm not sure why, it's just like, when I think of The Rock, and I can see that this is a thriller action adventure movie, The Rock reminds me of Alcatraz. So I'm going to maybe think that this is an Escape from Alcatraz movie? I don't know. Just, yeah, very excited. I can see it is 2 hours and 17 minutes long. That is one of the longest movies I have watched on this channel. Um, that is not a bad thing at all. I've just, it's just a thing I'd like to point out, I guess. But yeah, I don't know anything about this movie. I'm just assuming, I guess, from the title and that Nicolas Cage is in it and Sean Connery that it is an Escape from Alcatraz movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. Before we get into it, though, let's do some lighting. So, the lighting. Of, well, I'll, let's get into the lighting after I turn on my light. That might be helpful. Boop. Okay, nice. So, the lighting for today. I think I'm going to go orange. Oh, I just, I just, I just, what did I do? I'm going to go orange because the poster is orange. Well, the title is like yellow with like rock texture on it, but like Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery's faces are covered in an orange light. So I will be watching it with orange light be so I can pretend to be Nick Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't seen that many Nicolas Cage movies. I only know about him through pop culture like not the bees ah the bee you know stuff like that just like all of his bad movies i don't think i've ever seen a good nicholas cage movie so whenever i see him on the cover i'm like oh no this might be a really bad movie but i know he is an oscar winner winner so he is a good actor sean connery is a great actor so i'm just i'm excited to see what what all the uh, fuss is about about this movie so anyways let's get into it i hope you enjoy my reaction to the rock Hollywood Pictures is a new logo. I've never actually seen that one before. Jerry Buckheimer, that their their new logo is like a road that goes to a tree and then like lightning strikes the tree or something like that. And that logo used to scare me to death as a kid. Like whenever that logo went on, I would cover my eyes and pretend it didn't exist. Wait, is that Ed Harris? <laughs> Wait. This movie's by Michael Bay. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like Michael Bay movies. 
most of them, but I'm excited because he makes really good action movies. Well, he makes action movies. I don't know if all of them are really good. Look at that shot. The score is pretty good right now too. It's so epic and dramatic. <gasps> Hans Zimmer wrote some of this score. Okay, I love Hans Zimmer. <laughs> what a good shot. Ed Harris is such a good actor. No! I don't even know this guy and his wife died. That's so sad. Whatever happens. Please don't think less of me. What hap what's he, what's he going to do? Oh. Is that like a medal of honor or something? Wonder what's happening. Why are these people invading the base? Still don't know what's happening. I don't think I'm supposed to yet though. Okay, so he's invading the military base. Is he going after weapons that he that he knows shouldn't be a thing? Maybe Nicholas Cage is in there as a super soldier. Like a Terminator Nicholas Cage. That would be so good. Oh no. What are those balls? What do they do? Are they gonna explode? Sorry. Oh! The practical effects are so good, but uh, so gross. What's that? Why'd you get it sent here? Call her and approve. It's an album? It's a record? Let's see, we have some dirty magazines. Stone Age Cave Girls in the Raw. Kinky. <laughs> And uh you need the suits on for those. Okay. Dolls are always creepy. This into my heart? Are you fucking nuts? Wait, yeah. That's insane. Why would you do that? We're not gonna make it. Yeah you are. Don't worry about it. One second on the clock, it'll stop. So Nicolas Cage is good under pressure. Understand. He also likes the Beatles. That's his character so far. I know. I'm rambling. I'm complaining. I'm sorry. What's your news, baby? I'm pregnant. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm I knew as soon as he said the child line, she was either going to be like, but I want a child or I'm pregnant. Just turned blue, so I went to the doctor. That's my dog at the door. Not, you know, I'm not taking you for a walk though, right? I'm not doing it. Someone else is today. So you just came in here for nothing. I mean, you can watch the movie as well, but I know you're going to have to go out soon. So basically what's happening is Nicolas Cage just saved the day from a bomb. And that's all you need to know. Kind of a lot's happened since then. Look, we're not even married. I know, it's funny you should mention that. A lot did happen in those seven and a half seconds. No one is believed to have made it to shore. A lot, at least. Did no one actually escape from Azkaban? Azkaban? Alcatraz? Sorry, just watched Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. It's really important. I need you to tell your teacher that you need to get back on the boat and go home right now. Aww. You know, he's kind of a good person. Doesn't want kids to get hurt. Not a fella, someone with the tour? The tour's over, Bob. Are they gonna use it as a base? Uh. Alcatraz would be a good base. Let's move it. I wonder what they're doing though. Why do they have the missiles? It's not our intention in any way to harm you. You will not be detained one minute longer than is necessary for us to complete our mission. Uh, he's a nice guy, but like a bad guy, but a nice bad guy. And now they're called patriots. In time, so shall we. Maybe not. Depends what you're doing. You will each be paid a fee of one million dollars for services rendered. Oh, you know what? I'd join his crew. Office, it seems Alcatraz was just reopened. 
Alcatraz was just reopened. That was a good line. I launched the gas. You've got 40 hours till noon, day after tomorrow, to arrange transfer of the money. Or I launched the gas. You know, and I know it doesn't stand a chance. Hummel from Alcatraz, out. Oh my god, this guy is so good. I love Ed Harris's character. What the heck? He's so smart and he knows what he's doing, but he's also honorable. Sir, I'd like to bring in our SEAL ground commander, Commander Anderson. Mr. Womack, who is your best chemical biological man? Oh, is, is it going to be Sean Connery? Or is it Nicholas? It's Nicholas Cage, never mind. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I'll be, I'll be down. Yeah, downstairs in 10 minutes. No, you won't. He's like, I can do it fast. Two minutes, world record. Watch. <laughs> Penetrate the island through the tunnels under the prison buildings undetected and emerge in its center. That Whoa, there are tunnels under Azkaban? That's really cool. I have to get up three times a night to take a piss. We can't risk letting him out. Oh my god, yes. This is so exciting. Sean Connery's intro is so good. People who like my job, sir. Got my first chemistry set when I was seven. Blew my eyebrows off. We never saw the cat again. Been into it ever since. These are actually fake eyebrows. They're stickers. <laughs> no, Dr. Goodspeed. It's not a training exercise. That's a good shot. That is a good shot of San Francisco. I've always wanted to go to Alcatraz. It looks really cool. wonder if... Have, have any of you guys been there before? No, you remember me. I don't want his anger clouding the issue. I don't take care of it. <sighs> oh, the eyebrow raise was so good. Do yourself a favor. Call your lawyer. You're going back. There's something important with that. Really focused on the quarter and looks like looked like John was paying attention to it. I'm an agent with the uh, federal FBI. Uh, so awkward. I love it. Stanley Goodspeed. But of course you are. At least he got his name right. Stanley and John, power couple. Prisoner requests to have his handcuffs taken off. Why don't you go ahead and have his handcuffs? <laughs> I love Nicolas Cage. Okay. I want a sweet shower, shave, and the feel of a suit. Oh my god, Sean Connery in a suit. <laughs> oh, that's the most exciting thing ever. Sir Walter Raleigh, Alcamanus, Sultanates, and they, um, well, they were all wrongfully in prison. What's he doing? Oh, <gasps> he's cutting it out. I knew the quarter was important. You fired one of those things since the academy? Nope. Oh, that must feel so good. After not having a nice shower in so long. He's looking for somewhere to escape, isn't he? No, stylist. Barber. Just... <laughs> no, stylist. Barber. <laughs> okay. Not very nice, is he? No, he's not. I don't, Sean Connery wouldn't hurt these people, I don't think. I think I think he's like honorable enough to not do that. He doesn't want to hurt people. He's like he's an escape artist, right? He's an escape artist. Although I don't remember why he was in prison. They said he was like a secret service or a secret service agent or something like that. But Kind of like Rambo, like that sort of like a super soldier. Watching, come on, have, try some of this lobster. Mm -hmm. My secretary. Oh my God, clean shaven in the suit. Why should I trust you now? You've got my. You see, he just looked over the edge. To... Oh my God, it's so good. Drop the gun, or I drop your boss. You will not. Nicholas Cage is like. I don't like my boss, so you can drop him. FBI. Anyone can pretend to be the FBI. Just pretend to hold a gun and go, FBI, I'm taking your car. And then, boom, free car, right? This is so Michael Bay. This whole movie has been so Michael Bay.
Oh my god. I love the stunts in Michael Bay movies though. They're all very real. He really likes the practicality, the practicality, the practical stunts. I appreciate it. I'm only borrowing your Humvee. <laughs> I'm only borrowing your Humvee. I mean, that is true. Okay. That's kind of a, an awesome shot. I haven't seen Bad Boys, but I've seen the the shot of Bad Boys when the camera like spins around them, and that kind of reminded me of that shot. They got medical records, they got place of birth, Glasgow. Uh, they don't have a name. Why do you sound so surprised with Glasgow? <gasps> Hi. Look, she's come to watch today. She's come to watch the movie. She must really like it. I'll be over here if you need me. The last photograph I had of you. You're about 10. Aww. Well, I found a picture of you among my mom's things when she died. Actually, your breath smells. I'm sorry. It does. Don't have to stink up the place. <laughs> what are you doing? We're trying to watch the movie. Oi! After a Led Zeppelin concert, hit out, and that was the result. Well, I'd like to think. I mean, that sounds like the greatest way to meet someone in a bar after a Led Zeppelin concert. That's good. What did you do? Yeah, what did what did he do? Wait, Huxley, Huxley, he's gonna say what he did. Jade, I'm not an evil man. If you can believe that, then it's a start. He's not an evil man, that is true. He's actually pretty honorable, he just does what he needs to do. Oh, look at him, he's tearing up. He's helping us resolve a dangerous situation. He is? Yes, ma'am. Well, gee whiz, John, I guess we ought to get going, huh? Aww. Stanley's so nice. What the heck? Covering for him. Oh, Mac. You're between the rock and a hard case. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Marines in possession of 81 hostages and 15 guided rockets armed with VX poisoned gas. No. In that case, no, sir. Excuse me. I've done 79 hostages, but never 81. 81 is a new challenge for me. <laughs> you keep your mind on what you're going to be doing out there tonight. And I'll send someone to pick up your girlfriend and bring her here to the command center. Okay, good. Maybe she won't die. I still think she's think she's going to die. If they launch a rocket, a missile, then she will die. I hope they're feeding these people. 15 VX gas rockets into the heart of San Francisco. You've got 17 hours to deliver the money. Or be prepared to reap the whirlwind, gentlemen. This plan's a little weird, though. Like, he wants compensation so people understand that, like, their families should get compensation. These people did, like serve their lives to protect the country but then he's also going to destroy and harm the country like i don't know it's like hitting a stone with a stone it doesn't work it doesn't work to me at least it doesn't make sense and then those soldiers names that did die become rubbed in the dirt because they're associated with this terrorist attack minicams operational roger that sir we are online Are helicopters are allowed, allowed to fly that close to the city? I always thought they weren't, but in a lot of movies they are, so maybe if you're military, you have special privileges. Seconds to inject it into your heart. Don't fuck with me on this. It may save your life. I don't understand what that does. It just protects you from the gas? Like, why do you have to inject it into your heart? 7.5 range, 6,000 meters. And I feel like they're going to have to do it because it was mentioned. it's been mentioned twice now. So I feel like the gas is going to get set off in some way, but I still don't understand what that actually does. Swimmer, I mean, he can't even snorkel. I've always wanted to snorkel. That'd be so cool. Oh, it's one of those things that you grab in the water and it moves you super fast. Okay, Huxley. You did 
dig up this guy. That's classic. It's on a need to know basis. And you don't need to know. Clear here, sir. No motion sensor stripped. Nothing. Didn't they have eyes on the chopper? Oh wait, no. That the one that they saw was a decoy, wasn't it? Welcome to the rock. Okay. Okay. Everything he says is so epic. Something's not right. I got a bad feeling about this. Something's not- No, 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 no! The thing's gonna blow up! I'm kinda confused what's gonna happen. We're about halfway through the movie and it feels like this is the final action set piece. Is the final hour of this movie gonna be this one fight? What? What is happening? I expect. I guess I did. I thought they were gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. So these guys are gonna be the undercover. Like, listen to Ed Harris. No one's listening. Come on, fire them. I don't- Oh my god! Yeah, it's just the two of them, I knew it. No. It's up to Sean and Nick. I'm the yeah, first name basis for me. We held him without trial until he gave up the microphone. But he never did. I'm surprised <gasps> Hoover didn't use his daughter as less- So he was just held without trial for- However many years? What, 30 years? You can't escape the rockets. So, where are you gonna go? Go where? What are, you, what are you gonna do? Just leave the city and you're fine, right? <laughs> He's like, I'm just gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> Drive inland a little bit. Would being under the water work to avoid an explosion or would the water boil and get really hot and then you'd still die? I've always actually wondered that. Oh, his foot. Ah, oh, the poor guy. Oh my God, seriously? I'm gonna crush him? What? Most of the time I work in a glass jar and lead a very uneventful life. I drive a Volvo, a beige one. But what I'm dealing with here... <laughs> Why did he have to say that? Is he just because he wants to really hammer home that he's the most boring car in the world? He lives the most boring life? On the board. Who else? Good Come on. How many times does he have to say it? He said it like eight times in like five seconds. Converge on the morgue. Go, go, go. Converge on the morgue. Guys, we're going to converge on the morgue. The morgue. We're going to converge. More, more convergent. You know, if he hid in that bucket, I bet no one would find him. Oh, no. Oh, I thought he was going to get his throat slit. I didn't expect this to be honest, like a, a bucket chase. <laughs> what? But in retrospect, I'd rather have been a poet or a farmer. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good line. I love Sean Connery, he's so good in this movie. Nicolas Cage is good too, but Sean Connery is the highlight. Three to go. You find them and defuse them. Okay. Right. And he's gonna deal with that situation. Hey, what about Mr. Henderson's head? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it 
It's a distraction. Sean Connery is always a good distraction. If he came into my room or something and it was like, stop doing your homework, I would stop doing my homework. Hi, sweetie. But the balls are just there. The green balls are just out in the open. Battle and then see their memory betrayed by their own fucking government. I don't quite see how you cherish the memory of the dead by killing another million. That's what I said. I'm Sean Connery. Fucking on island with a bunch of violence for pleasure seeking psychopathic marines. Shame on them. <clears throat> I love this rant. Keep ranting, Nick. Keep ranting. Go for it. Go ham. <clears throat> how, in the name of Zeus's butthole, did you get out of your cell? I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to start saying that from time to time now. How, in the name of Zeus's Butthole! <laughs> General, two operational rockets left. One's at the lower lighthouse and there is one on the roof and both of the birds are ready to fly, sir. G General, can you hear me? I get so fed up with army talk, it's just always yelling. There's a madman in there with his hand on a, on a button! Some sniper's gonna get his ass. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, they probably can see you with a sniper just snipe you in the head. Let's be all we can be. No. <laughs> all right. I guess you are leaving. Bye. Oh no. Is that on your knees? Ah, here comes Sean. Here comes Sean. What do you say you do the math? Hand over the gun and let's go find some rockets. That was brutal. I loved it. The weapon is hot. I'm standing by for launch command. Don't touch the weapon. It is hot. Wear oven mitts if you're going to touch the weapon. Fire. 300 knots. It's headed right at Elwood. Football game. No! Are you serious? Maybe they just don't like football. They're protesting against liking football. Just gonna make it worse. Yeah! Talk to me, sir. Captain, step outside! <laughs> this is between me and the general. This is Major Baxter. Now you're being given your last chance by a man with a gun. Put the phone down. Three different things. Wow. Old friend, superior officer, man with a gun. Need a decision, Mr. President. Who was the president at the time of this movie? Like 1993 or something like that? Who was the president? How does one weigh human life? The Darkest Hour? Is that a Churchill reference? This is the worst call I've ever had to make. No way he's gonna do that. Just an evacuate. Consequences of our actions I'll face alone. Excuse me, General. Oh my god. Here comes the mutiny. Oh, he's so dead. He's so dead. I'll have that sidearm, sir. You mean this sidearm? It's a good old-fashioned standoff. They're gonna eliminate themselves before anyone else has to. It's over. Oh, I knew he was gonna do that. Oh my gosh. Good for him, though. Except he's dead. And he missed. He hit, some he hit his shoulder. The Major's shoulder. Where's the last rocket? It's at the lighthouse, right? Yeah. Roll away. Get in the bathtub. Bathtubs equals safety. It's like in Indiana Jones when he's in the fridge during a nuclear bomb. Safe, you know? Anything that's like porcelain or like that type of... I guess fridges are not porcelain, but you get what I'm saying, right? Appliances are safe from every explosion. Dude, Nicholas Cage has the advantage over you. You're both dead if he drops that. Are you stupid? Put it down. Come on. Let's play. <gasps> what if he gets missiled? Oh my god, I hope he gets missiled. I don't like soft ass shit. Oh, you are. 
Rocket Man is not soft. Rocket Man is hardcore. It's you. You're the Rocket Man. Would it have been awesome if they played Rocket Man right at that moment too? That was an okay kill line. I'd say that was an okay kill line. Ow. Oh, I'd say mid-level kill line for that. I don't know. It's just the way that Nicolas Cage delivered it. Didn't really work. It, was, it wasn't like clear. It was very mumbled. Throw them at him. I really want them to be used on that guy. I don't know why. I just really like the uh, practical effects at the beginning. <gasps> Oh, you can totally sneak up on him. You know how loud it would be up there? Why didn't he hit him in the head? Why didn't he hit him in the back where all the padding is? What the heck? Ooh. Special effects didn't look too good on those planes, but I will not criticize. I mean, I guess I just did, but I will not criticize anymore. No, no, no. Oh. I thought he was going to get hooked in the head or something. He has to be, he has to use that on the guy, right? Increase speed to 500 oh 500 er 500 I don't know what that means, I just like saying it. Eat that, you oh, oh, that's so gross. Okay, you know what? I don't want that to be used on him anymore. That's just, that's not a way to go. That's just not a way to go. Ow. I still don't understand what that does to you. It just protects you or something. Does it make you the Hulk? IP inbound. Time on target, 60 seconds. Oh, I don't like needles. Please, please, I don't like needles. Oh my god. I love flares. They're so, they're so cool. The music is really good. What a shot. Get out of my way. Let me throw, please. Let me throw. One bomb. One 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 trigger happy pilot. It's like Titanic. I'll never let go. <laughs> Don't know why I think it's like Titanic. It, it's not even close to Titanic. What if he's like, don't answer it, let's just prank him, let's pretend we're both dead. He's dead, sir. How? When? Just come and get me. Yeah, ask the questions later. Forget Maui. Yeah, who needs Maui? Kansas. From Pew. Right. How did he get so far away? Is he, can he teleport? The man's Batman. Yeah. Poor bastard. <laughs> I bet they both know. They both know, but they it's not worth doing anything. They just robbed a church? <gasps> they have a dog. Oh, just married too. Oh no, really killed JFK? Oh my god, it's the stuff, isn't it? Don Simpson. Oh, who's Tom Don Simpson? I enjoyed that movie. I'll see you guys from my review if you'd like to watch my review in a couple seconds. Thank you so much for watching. And that was my reaction to The Rock, 1996. On Google it says action mystery, but on Disney Plus it said action thriller. I guess mystery thriller are kind of the same thing in some... Okay, someone just really loud engine drove by. I guess the action and mystery are pretty similar. Um, the first thing I really just want to say is that felt like a Michael Bay movie um, with the green filter, the green blue filter over everything, the kind of basis in like a military sort of style movie with a lot of patriot pre patriotism. I think that's what you say. The extreme action, the creative action. Actually, Michael Bay has some really creative action sequences. I'll get to his action sequences in the in a moment and the even the humor kind of felt like Michael Bay if I did not know that Michael Bay directed this movie at the end of this movie I would have said I wonder if Michael Bay directed this movie or maybe even during my reaction it was very m reminiscent of the Michael Bay movies that I have seen in the past not I've seen a lot of his movies I've seen a lot of I've seen all the Transformers movies and I I don't know if I've seen a lot of his other movies 
but from what I know of the Transformers movies, this felt like one of those, you know? It felt very, except there wasn't as, as much, there wasn't as many ladies in this movie. Usually there's like some form of sex appeal in the Transformers movie. It was Megan Fox, I think her name was. In the Ninja Turtles movies, he directed those, right? Or maybe not directed them, but produced them or something. It was, I think it was the same lady actually. But you know, besides that, I'm gonna get into the action because this movie had a lot of action. Uh, something you have to know straight off the bat is that I'm not a big fan of Michael Bay action. Uh, it's kind of iffy to me. I feel like he overdoes the action a lot of times and I don't really like how he films his action sequences. But that being said, I really think he has a good mind for action. I think he's very creative when it comes to his action set pieces. There's a lot of times where I'm like, oh, that's actually really cool. Um, and I really like his use of practical effects in action set pieces. And so I'm very happy that for the most part I enjoyed the action. While I did not enjoy the filming of the action in this movie, I still had the exact same issue I do with every Michael Bay movie with the action. I enjoyed the set pieces, I enjoyed all of the practical explosions, the practical car crashes, the practical minecart chases, I don't know. I just thought it was really cool. But yeah, I don't like the way he films his action. It's very shaky cam, a lot of cuts. It's very hard for me to tell what is happening in the action set pieces and like I okay I can tell what's happening it's just like very unclear sometimes because it's so there's so many cuts and the camera's so shaky sometimes like the screen is just blurry um, and sometimes that gives me a little bit of a headache and it gives makes me a little bit nauseous but for the most part I thought the action sequences were either good and sometimes they were really, I thought they were just fun. Like the car chase, for example, is it my favorite car chase of all time in movies? No. Did I really like it though? I enjoyed it. I, I did really enjoy it. Um, I really liked, again, that the cars, that all the cars hitting each other and stuff were very, was very practical. The cars doing flips in the air going off of like the hidden ramps in the film and stuff were so cool. I love when cars do that. And I'm really glad that Michael Bay doesn't really use special effects, even though like, for example, in Transformers, they are obviously Transformers. A lot of the actual cars crashing and explosions are still done in real life and then the Transformers are added in post, right? So he could have just done everything and made up like a CGI scene, but in Transformers he makes, he still does it in real life and then films the trans and then adds the Transformers only as the CGI element later pretty much. And so I really like that about him. I really like that he tries to make the action as realistic as possible and as real as possible. I guess that's what realistic means. I guess I just said the same thing twice. But so I enjoyed that about the movie. And again, I enjoy his creativity, the minecart chase scene with like the bucket, the bucket, Nicolas Cage bucket. I did not expect that to be in this movie at all. And I really, really liked that scene. Um, when Stuntmen Catch on Fire, I'm really impressed. After, if you guys have seen Corridor Crew, they did like an episode where they like were lit themselves on fire and stuff. And it showed actually how dangerous it was um, and how much work goes into those simple stunts. So I really appreciate when I see that now in film, when a stuntman takes the risk of being on fire and that guy's legs was on fire. So I thought that was a really cool stunt. I think fire stunts in general are really cool. Uh, and the action in this movie, I thought, well, I didn't like the filming of it. Um, and I thought it was kind of hard to understand what was happening in the action for the most part. I still thought it was a very creative action movie. Another thing that I actually enjoyed more than I thought I was going to once I saw, okay, once I saw the Michael Bay directed by, I was like, Ooh, oh, oh, am I gonna like this movie? But another thing that I thought was better in this movie than in his more recent movies was the humor. A lot of his humor now is very bad, very on the nose. And in this movie, there definitely was on the nose moments, but I think the chemistry between Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage and also the like the pedigree that Sean Connery has as like a really world-class actor, it really helped in this movie. and. I, even if the comedy may have been bad on the script, I think just the line deliveries made it work or something like that. I don't know. I just found some of the comedy to be really funny, um, very kind of un Michael Bay because it wasn't so on the nose. It was actually like funny banter between the two characters. Um, and I don't usually think that he has funny banter, like his script writing isn't phenomenal, which I'll get into the script. It wasn't like the greatest script of all time, but I thought that the comedy was really well done and again my favorite parts of the movie was when Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage were bantering with each other and they were just having little quippy lines here and there. I thought that was really well done. But the script I thought was okay. So I really like the idea of an, an invasion into Alcatraz and that some 
that some form some group or something has set up a base on Alcatraz because it's it seems like a really good base right like water on all sides you have viewpoints from all sides like very protected um, I really like the idea and uh, again I really liked the characters in this movie well Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage I really liked them um, but I, the thing that I didn't like there were some very on the nose moments and Michael Bay I don't think is very good at showing not telling in his movies like at the very start of the movie this is when i thought oh this movie might just tell us what to think instead of showing us what to think at the very start of the movie when ed harris's character is standing in front of his wife's grave the first thing he says is i miss you so much that is something he does not need to say you can show that you can show his emotion and i can understand that he can that he is emotional that he is upset that he misses her without him actually having to say it and so right when he said that i was like oh this movie might not it's not gonna be some intense drama right i mean it's a michael bay movie it's a military movie i'm not expecting like that sort of movie but it was a little bit too on the nose for me at some times where the movie was basically telling me what a character was feeling instead of just showing me and letting their actions speak for themselves uh some other issues i had with the script were that the thing that you have to stick into your heart was never at least from what I remember, was never really explained. It was just like, stick this into your heart and you'll be safe from the gas. But why? Maybe I don't really understand why. And why do you have to stick it into your heart? I don't think... If that was explained, I'm sorry, I just did not catch it. But I don't think it was explained. And so I was a little confused why they... And they kept mentioning it. They kept going, you just got to stick it into your heart. And then everyone was like, why though? Like, what's the point? And then they're like, oh, you just got to stick it into your heart. You know? Another thing that I had an issue with was how many times they brought up how dangerous the gas is. And I know that that is a way for the audience to keep remembering like, oh, the gas is dangerous. But I didn't need that because again, at the start of the movie, they show the guy like melting in the thing. And I was like, oh, the, that's dangerous, whatever that is. And then they say it and I'm like, okay, so it's the gas that did that. So the gas is dangerous. But then they say it like, eight more times in different circumstances to people who already know the gas is dangerous like Nicolas Cage some guy would be like oh it's gas and then Nicholas is like oh the gas is dangerous when the guy who says oh the gas already knows that the gas is dangerous and already knows that it's going to kill 80,000 people so I don't really I think that's just to remind the audience maybe as he Michael Bay's like oh the audience I don't even know if Michael Bay wrote the script to be honest but it's just like this, whoever wrote the script was just like, oh, maybe the audience has been so long since we said it. Maybe they forgot how dangerous the gas is. So we got to say it again, you know, but I didn't like I, I still remembered. So I thought it was just a little bit, I don't know, kind of a little bit of bad writing. Also, the plan for the villains made no sense. And then I'm so glad that this that they actually brought it up and that Sean Connery's character actually was like, this plan makes no sense. Like, why are you like talking about these Patriots lives who have killed in who were killed in action and how does killing a million people in San Francisco Like bring them honor and bring their family like closure, right? It just it didn't make sense And I'm so glad that Sean Connery brought it up because it was a big issue I had with their plan and so since it was addressed in the script it is no longer an issue But I think the script what the script did really well again was the characters. I think Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage's characters were really good. I thought that the actual idea of the script and the idea of the movie was really cool. The humor was really well done and I think some of some of the twists were predictable but still satisfying, you know? So while this like the script wasn't the most predictable deep thing in the world, it was still a very satisfying script. The script was the conclusion was really good, I thought in my opinion. Yeah, I don't know. It was just like there are issues with the script that I had, but for the most part, I enjoyed it. You know, I enjoyed this movie. Uh, getting into the cast now. The cast, Sean Connery, I guess I'll do first, as John Mason. That was his name, right? John Mason. I really liked his character. He was my favorite character. Um, he played off of Nicolas Cage's character, Stanley, really well. Uh, I really liked kind of just... I don't know, I really like his accent. I think his accent is brilliant. And so whenever he spoke, I was like, oh yeah, just keep speaking. And he was also so cool as just this like old British, what was he, an SAS agent? SAS, a sassy agent. <laughs> but yeah, I thought his line deliveries were really good, uh, especially in the interrogation scene at this, uh, when he's first introduced into the movie, kind of at the start of the movie, when Nicolas Cage's character is, in, is interrogating him. I don't know why, I just really liked that scene. And I really liked... 
that scene was really good at showing not telling actually just a matter of fact when they were showing the coin in close-ups and showing him looking at the coin i think they really did a really good job with this character kind of showing that he is an escape artist and he would always be doing something like looking over shoulder looking over the balcony when he was about to toss the guy over the balcony and you could just be like oh he's planning something you can see he's planning something so i think they did a really good job with this character and i think sean connery played him really well i wish they had done more about him and his daughter I mean the movie is already two hours and 16 minutes 17 minutes however long it was but I didn't really feel like like I could feel that he was like had a connection to his daughter but it wasn't really that fleshed out in my opinion and it wasn't like that deep of a connection I wish they had gone further into it I maybe had a scene where he was talking about it with Nicolas Cage or something like that like more a more emotional scene there wasn't really that that in the movie um, but besides that, I really liked his character. I really like John. I really like Sean Connery in this movie. Nicolas Cage as Dr. Stanley. I really liked him. Obviously, Nicolas Cage can be a little over the top sometimes, and I thought some of his line deliveries were a little over the top. Uh, I think in one of, and I think I like mocked him for one of his lines. I forget what line it was in my reaction, but I mocked him. But I don't know. I think it kind of added to his character. I got used to it after a while. His very over the top line delivery and I just enjoyed it. Just that's kind of what I did with this movie. I just enjoyed this movie for what it was, a like a, a fun action popcorn flick with Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage's character I thought was the most like depth, had the most depth to him, but he still had his flaws. It was weird. He didn't like it felt like he did not care about his girlfriend at the start of the movie and then he cared about her at the end of the movie. I don't know why I thought he did not care about her. It was just like the way he was acting around her. I was like, he does not want to be here right now. And I think that just might be because he was very unsure of how to act because she was pregnant. And I know he said that a bunch of times in the movie, but it just did not feel like they loved each other for some reason, at least at the start. So when at the end of the movie, when she was like, oh no, he's dead, I didn't really feel the connection between them because I don't think they did a good job setting up those two characters at the start of the movie if that makes sense. But I am I really liked uh, how he was like this mum, I, I don't know, I like this trope where someone's mumbling, bumbling, and then at the end of the movie, they're like an action hero. So I really liked, I really liked that trope. So I liked his development into the action hero. And then finally at the end when he has the flares and the, the planes are flying by, that was really satisfying and a really good shot. Uh, yeah, the camera shots were pretty good in this movie as well. Uh, but again, too many cuts and too much shaky cam, Michael Bay, please. It hurts my eyes sometimes. Please stop just shaking the camera. There's not always an earthquake in your movies. But yeah, Nicolas Cage did a good job. So Ed Harris as Francis Hummel. I liked his character. I wish he had more depth. I was, oh, at the start of the movie, I was like, oh man, this guy's gonna have like a lot of depth. He's visiting his dead wife and he's like took his ring off and stuff like that. And it was, it was really sad. And I thought they were gonna do more with him, but that was kind of the most development he had really in the entire movie so i was a little disappointed i really liked him as a villain i loved that he was super smart super tactical and he like, he just knew what he was doing and that the the actual government and military was afraid of him that and they like they knew that he was smart and i really like villains who are just smart um and also he was honorable so i really respected him about that too i think his plan was dumb and he just did not think it over i don't don't know why he thought it was a good idea it was like that i just don't understand what he was thinking if he's not going like ready to like destroy those people kill those people then your plan is dumb i i don't know i know he was trying to call a bluff but then also like his plan doesn't make sense like killing those people isn't going to solve his problem in the first place and it's just going to make him a more wanted person so i didn't understand his plan i wish he had more character development but for what ed harris had he did a great job he is a great actor. I watched him. The first time I ever saw him was in Westworld, I believe. If you have not seen Westworld, great show. You should watch it. But the first time I saw him was in Westworld, and he was amazing. And uh, from then, I started to notice him in different movies and TV shows and stuff like that. And I really, really like him as an actor. So yeah, I thought he did a really good job for what he got. I just wish he had more character development. And I'm glad he did not kill those people at the end. I'm glad he kept his honor 
and sacrificed himself basically to save everyone in San Francisco. So I really like that. Yeah, but overall, I did really, I know I talked pretty crit critically about the movie, but I did really enjoy the movie. There were just aspects of it, like Michael Bay is not my favorite director, and I'm pretty biased, I guess, when I say that I'm not a huge fan of his movies. But I really like the creativity Michael Bay has in terms of action sequences. I just do not like the way he films them. But yeah, this is a movie that if I wanted to sit down, watch an, a fun action movie, uh, eat some popcorn, talk, talk with some friends while the movie's on, I would totally watch this movie again like that. It is, It was really fun. Some of the characters were really, really cool. Uh, Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage's characters especially really worked for me. Some of the comedy hit, some of the action was really fun and intense. The ending was satisfying for me, satisfying enough for me to go, okay, that makes sense, I like it. Uh, and then my only issues were the script, some of the stuff did not make sense, the characters, I wish they had a little bit more development, at least emotional development in the movie, and the way the action scenes were filmed. So yeah, overall, enjoyed this movie. Thank you so much for watching Patreons. It means a lot for you to be watching right now. And yeah, I will see you next time for my next Patreon reaction. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.